Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're back in War Tycoon, and today we're going over the long-awaited plane update. Although, I'd also say it's probably one of the most overrated updates, or overhyped, I guess I should say, because I'm not gonna lie, all they added was a reskinned sniper. This brick, and then probably one of the worst vehicle types in the game, especially if you're not on PC, but even on PC, it's like they specifically designed them to be bad. So as you can see, you need seven rebirths and then you'll unlock this other section in your tycoon, pretty ginormous to be honest. It's pretty much like all the other places where you spawn vehicles, where you have your bunker down here. And obviously this is your research place and this is where they have the intervention sniper, but realistically, it's just a reskinned sniper it's literally just the same as everything else. You hear that brand new sound? Of course you don't. Do you know why? Because it's the same sound as all the other snipers, man. It's literally just a reskinned. It has zero effort. And then we're coming over here to finally get the planes. As you can see, I got two unlocked. This one I literally had to buy because the plane sucks so much that it is almost impossible to get 40 kills. But I'm going to show you the Mustang first because this is the one that most of you guys are going to be using because most of you guys don't have 500 Robux to spend. That's right. To complete the task before you unlock it, it costs 500 Robux. I would never recommend this to literally anyone. The only reason I bought it is because I want to make this video as fast as possible. But anyways, time to take off. And as you might notice, it seems pretty similar to games you might know such as War Thunder, except it completely sucks. And yeah, that's me turning at full speed, man. It is not exactly good whatsoever, man. These planes feel so sluggish and slow. And then... Of course, the Mustang, it's a World War II plane. It don't come with any special lock-on missiles or flares. It just has a basic machine gun. These things are not exactly, how do I put it, insanely good. So as you can see, they do do insane damage, as I'll show you by destroying this guy's base. Now, this guy obviously doesn't have a fully leveled shield, but you get the idea. The developers, I think they tried to compensate for how bad the planes handle and just made them do insanely high damage. Bro, it is literally so difficult to aim. I don't know what the developers did. I don't know why they couldn't just make it aim like War Thunder. Now, honestly, these things absolutely, I don't know what else to say. It's so difficult to aim at people because, well, I don't know how to explain it, but like, I was literally trying my absolute hardest to aim at that dude right there. And as you can see, I was just wobbling all around him because the controls, I don't know what they're doing to these things. But like, it is so difficult to just aim at something and stay aimed at it. It's probably enough talking about the Mustang because this is by far the worst plane in the game. It completely sucks and it is like probably the worst handling. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go after this dude. Well, beautiful physics as you can tell. Only made by the pure... Oh, and we got him. Yeah, as you can see, I'm the best pilot. They call me Top Gun for a reason. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I just got the MiG-29. This thing cost me, I think, around 500 Robux because the operation needs you to kill 40 people. And as you saw, I had difficulty shooting at a plane that literally was not moving. Honestly, it is not the best, but at least this one has lock-on missiles, which you're going to need because the accuracy on these things suck. It also goes a lot faster and has a fast-firing machine gun and flares, but honestly, that's not too important because you're not going to be getting any kills with that machine gun. You're going to be practically 100% relying on... Oh, I missed one shot. Come on. Oh my god, man. This is downright horrendous to control. I'm trying my hardest to get this dude. Oh. But yeah, the turning radius is not it on this thing. I'm almost done with this garbage, bro. Like, they do so much damage, as you can see by that base, but like... This is actually probably the worst vehicle you could possibly pick. Tanks are better. Helicopters are better. Honestly, almost any vehicle that is in the regular garage, you unlock it at one rebirth. Those are probably better than the planes. So bad. Also, yeah, as you can see, I'm not the only one that is incredibly struggling to get kills with them because, yeah, as you can see, everyone is crashing pretty much everywhere. It is insanely difficult. But anyways, I'm going to try one more time, maybe get my first kill. I mean, I've gotten some kills before recording because obviously I had to test them out. But 
first kill on video maybe because boy do these things absolutely suck man so hard to get kills with Okay, honestly, I think this pretty much means a whole new meta for the panster because like the planes just straight up can't aim very good in this game. So you're not going to be hit very much if you just come out with a panster and lock on to people in the Mustang, especially because they don't even have flares. Boom, double kill. Another one. Oh my god, these planes fly so slow, man. It is crazy easy to knock them out. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and do not use the planes because helicopters are better, tanks are better, 